guys welcome to youtube channel foundation je today lecture is on motion of an object along a straight line okay in this lecture first we see the definition of motion then we see what does mean by distance displacement a speed average a speed and velocity of an object okay guys to understand all these quantities we will also see some numerical problem based on these quantities okay guys motion of an object along a straight line you can take example when a fruit is falling from a tree to ground then you can see the path traveled by the fruit to reach the ground is a straight line okay and the second example you can see in your daily life the moving of bus along the road or moving of a train along a railway track okay so these are examples of a motion of an object along a straight line okay so guys now next we see first the definition of motion okay motion when the position of an object changes with respect to its surrounding while passing the time then object is called in motion guys motion is not absolute it is relative to other one okay guys before going to detail on motion of an object first of all you know what does mean by rest of an object okay now guys suppose this one is a wall okay in front of this wall one car is here okay so what you see unless until you don't apply any force or you don't start this car this is as it is okay so after time passes it remain same okay so when the position of an object does not change with surrounding or the reference point here wall then it is called object is in rest condition okay now guys suppose the car start here moving okay see so what you see here the position of this car changes here to here okay so if we say this one is a d1 distance traveled by this car from this wall so what you see 
now the position of this car has been changed okay so you can say the car is moved like this one okay or this car is in motion okay so whenever the position of an object changes with respect to its surrounding while passing the time then object is called in motion okay guys here you can see i have used word relative to other one in definition of motion so what does mean here relative to other one okay suppose guys you are traveling on a train okay or see this one is a compartment of this train okay now suppose you are sitting here along with three other persons okay now this one is a train compartment okay and guys suppose you have closed all the windows of this compartment of this train then what you observe with respect to this compartment wall okay you feel that this person is in rest in comparison to you okay because when time passes the position of the person does not changes however the speed of train is v okay so guys what you see here when the reference where you are measuring the speed it is also moving with a same speed then you feel here that motion is zero okay now guys suppose one person who is standing here on a station okay so what will be his observation about your motion so he will tell to others the train is moving with a speed of v along with all persons are also moving with a speed v so what you see in respect of you all the persons are in rest condition however when the reference changes okay now the observer or the person is outside the train or who is on the station then he will say train is moving with a speed of v okay so guys a speed is a not a absolute term it is a relative one okay so you can say motion of a object is not a absolute it is a relative to other one okay now guys hope the meaning of relative to other one clear to you okay now the second word i used absolute okay so absolute it is not relative to other one and also does not depend upon position or location of the object okay so this is called absolute okay guys suppose your weight is 60 kg okay so wherever you go on earth okay your weight will be what 60 kg 
okay so you can say sir mass is absolute okay it does not depend upon the location and position you are where on the earth okay so hope guys now term motion clear to you okay now guys next we see the definition of a distance now guys distance the actual path length covered by an object during his whole journey is called distance traveled by an object okay guys see an example for clarity suppose this one is a point a and this one is point b okay there are suppose three paths okay to go a to b okay now suppose here one bus he is traveling from a to b okay now guys suppose this bus has taken this route to go a to b okay so what will be the distance covered by that bus is the actual length okay so this length will give you the distance traveled by the bus this one and this one is not why because as per definition actual path length okay so actually the bus is traveling through this route okay so total distance traveled by this bus a to b is this route length okay now guys in physics the bus okay length is neglected why because suppose the bus length is 6 meter okay and distance traveled by this bus is 10 km so comparison of the 10 km this 6 meter is very small okay so in physics whenever we talk about an object you see this is represented by dot and its length is neglected okay so if you will take example of a train also however the length of train is maybe 100 meter okay however when you solve the question you will take the length of train is zero okay or it is denoted by only dot okay now the second one is displacement okay so it is the shortest path length between initial position to final position it does not 
डिपेंड अपॉन हाउ द ऑब्जेक्ट रीच इनिशियल टू फाइनल पोजिशन ओके गाइज एस आई यूनिट ऑफ डिसप्लेसमेंट इज मीटर और एस आई यूनिट ऑफ डिस्टेंस इज ऑल्सो मीटर सो बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्टेंस एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट इज डिसप्लेसमेंट टेल्स यू डायरेक्शन एंड डिस्टेंस डज नॉट टेल यू अबाउट अ डायरेक्शन ओके सी दिस केस ओके सो वट विल बी द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए टू बी इज दिस स्टेट लाइन ओके सो इट डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन द हाउ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज ट्रेवलिंग ओके सो डिसप्लेसमेंट इज स्टेट लाइन ए बी इन दिस केस ओके नाउ गाइज फॉर योर मोर क्लैरिटी सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स ओके नाउ गाइज सी एग्जाम्पल ओके दिस वन इज अ स्टेट लाइन ओके ओ ए बी सी एंड डी आर पॉइंट्स ऑन दिस स्टेट लाइन ओके और डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ओ टू ए इक्वल टू टू किलोमीटर दिस वन फोर किलोमीटर दिस वन सिक्स किलोमीटर और दिस वन एट किलोमीटर ओके नाउ सपोज अ पर्सन स्टार्ट हियर जर्नी हियर टू हियर ओके एंड देन रिटर्न बैक ओके सो ओ टू डी ही टेक्स सपोज थर्टी मिनट्स ओके एंड डी टू बी फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हियर वट इज डिस्टेंस कॉवर्ड बाय पर्सन इन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स ओके and what is his displacement in 45 minutes okay so guys as per definition what actual path he covered to go o to b okay so first you see he go at a point d then again return back to b so od length will be 8 km or guys bd length will be 8 minus 4 or this is 4 km okay so guys total distance covered by person is equal to od plus bd equal to 8 km plus 4 km so total distance covered by that person in 45 minutes equal to 12 km okay however guys what about a displacement of that person in 45 minutes okay so so you see in definition the displacement of an object depends upon initial and final position okay so see he is at initially o position and finally he is at b position so distance between o to b is now guys what you can say so this is 4 kilometer okay displacement 
by that person in 45 minutes is only 4 km okay guys now consider another example okay now see a person okay now here at a point a and now he is at point b after time t okay suppose this one is a c point okay or this distance is guys 80 meter okay or this one is 60 meter okay so the person is taking this path go a to b okay so what will be distance covered by that person okay so your answer will be 80 meter plus 60 meter so this one is 140 meter okay however guys this is about distance okay and what about displacement so you can say sir initial position is a and final position is b so hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will give you the displacement of that person okay so guys displacement equal to here ac whole square plus bc whole square okay or now this one guys 80 meter whole square or 60 meter whole square okay now when you solve this one this will come 100 meter okay so displacement of this person during time t is only 100 meter okay and distance is 140 meter okay so hope guys now by seeing these two examples distance and displacement clear to you okay now guys next you see the meaning of a speed okay see a speed okay how an object is moving fast in unit time is called a speed of the object okay now guys consider here this one is a point p and this one is a point q okay now distance between these two points is s okay or time taken by the object go p to q is t okay the speed of the object is s divided by t okay and the unit of this one is guys meter per second why because s is a distance which is measured in meter and t time is measured in second okay guys si unit stands for inter national standard unit okay this unit is accepted all around the world okay so guys that's why this unit is known as si unit okay now guys the second thing okay average speed okay guys suppose the motion of, of guys suppose the motion of an object from one place to another place is different from second <coughs> guys suppose here uh, suppose 
an object is moving a to b with a, a speed of b1 and b2 c with a speed of v2 okay and time taken from a to b is t1 and b to c is t2 okay so you can see in different interval of time its speed is different okay so what shall the object maintain its speed from point a to its whole journey c okay so that it reaches in same time t1 plus t2 will give you the average velocity of that object okay so in physics it is ratio of total distance covered by an object to total time elapsed during whole journey okay guys here journey means yatra okay now we can write formula for this one v average equal to total distance traveled by object divided by total time elapsed okay so guys suppose here a b c and d okay and in this interval a to b the speed is v1 time taken by the object going a to b is t1 and b to c is t2 and c to d suppose t3 okay so in this case average velocity will be sum of all this one okay so you can say this one v1 into t1 will give you guys distance from a to b and v2 into t t2 will give you distance between b to c and v3 into t3 will give you distance between c to d okay so this way you can calculate average speed of an object okay so guys next see some example for more clarity for speed and average speed okay question here guys suppose a train okay start moving a to b then it go again to point c okay now a to b its speed is 20 km per hour okay and time taken by the train a to b is 3 hour okay and now again the train changes speed okay and now its speed is 10 km per hour or it takes 7 hours to go b to c okay so what is its average speed okay so solution guys as you know distance between ab equal to speed say v1 
or time taken to complete a to b is t1 so this is 20 kilometer per hour or this is 3 hour okay so this one is 60 kilometer okay or distance between bc equal to v2 into t2 okay so v2 is here guys 10 kilometer per hour or this one is 7 hour ok so you can say total distance between b and c is 70 kilometer ok so v average guys so total distance covered by train divided by total time elapsed ok so you can say sir this one 60 kilometer or this one 70 kilometer ok now divided by total time ok so 3 hour plus 7 hour ok so you can get here 130 by 10 kilometer or hour 0 0 cancel out or you can say the average speed is coming here this one ok so what does mean by here average speed of this train means if the train maintain this speed in whole journey 13 kilometer per hour for a 10 hour then it will reach the destination in same time ok now guys you notice here I have written units of all the quantities why it is necessary to write unit while solving the problem you see by an example ok question is here a uh, 3 a student a start journey a to b in 3 different vehicle with different speed ok say first one is moving with car at a speed of say 72 kilometer per hour ok and second one ok is moving with motor cycle at a speed of 3 kilometer per minute ok and third one is moving with a scooter at a speed of 25 meter per second ok here question is who is moving fast and who is moving slowest ok guys once you to see the numerical value of a speed you can say sir car is moving 72 kilometer per hour so it is moving fast a to b or the slowest one is here motor 
साइकिल ओके विच इज मूविंग थ्रू किलोमीटर पर मिनट ओके सो इज इट ट्रू ओनली यू विल सी द नुमेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ स्पीड और यू कैन से दिस वन इज मूविंग फास्ट और दिस वन इज मूविंग स्लोएस्ट सो माई आंसर इज गाइज नो वाई सी हियर द यूनिट्स ऑफ ऑल द स्पीड आर डिफरेंट ओके सो इन सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू मेक यूनिट ऑफ ऑल इन वन यूनिट ओके सो स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ स्पीड इज गाइज वाट मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके सो ऑल एड यू सी हियर ए स्कूटर स्पीड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके सो वी चेंज द अदर वन सो कार स्पीड इज सेवेंटी टू किलोमीटर पर आवर ओके सो दिस वन इज सेवेंटी टू इंटू वन थाउजेंड और डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स दिस टू जीरो टू जीरो कैंसिल आउट और थर्टी सिक्स वन जा वन और दिस इज टू सो दिस विल कम ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके और वाट अबाउट हियर गाइज मोटरसाइकिल स्पीड दिस विल कम थ्री इंटू वन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी ओके सो दिस इज वन दिस इज ट्वेंटी और दिस इज वन दिस इज 50. So this is 50 meter per second. Okay. So what you see, guys, here when you convert all in the same unit, then the numerical value of motorcycle is only three. However, when convert in same unit, you get the speed of motorcycle is 50 meter per second. So fastest one is मोटर साइकिल ओके और स्लोएस्ट वन इज गाइज नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व कार इज ओनली मूविंग विथ स्पीड ऑफ ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके सो इट स्पीड इज स्लोएस्ट वन ओके गाइज सो डेट्स वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू यू नीड टू फोकस इन विच यूनिट द क्वांटिटी इज रिटेन in problem you must to see okay now one question arises in your mind sir how you have written this one okay so you know here guys 1 km equal to what 1000 meter okay and 1 hour equal to guys 3600 second okay so can we write 72 into 1 km or oh, this is 1 hour okay now put the value here 1 km 1000 meter or 1 hour 3600 second okay so that's why i have written this one okay now guys next we see velocity of an object okay velocity it is how an object moving with direction in unit time okay i suppose here p and q are two points okay and displacement between these two points is say d okay so velocity v equal to displacement divided by time taken by object to reach p to q okay so this one is time here okay the unit of 
displacement is guys meter per second okay now guys suppose a particle or an object moving in this direction from a to b okay now again it change its direction like this one okay so in a to b its velocity is if v1 and time taken by the object to go a to b equal to t1 and now it change its direction okay now this one and now taken time to reach this position say c okay in t2 time then what shall be the velocity okay so in this case guys we introduce average velocity okay so guys it is ratio of total or guys net displacement in total time interval okay guys as we just read velocity has a direction okay so guys v average equal to in this case v1 into t1 plus v2 into t2 divided by t1 plus t2 or you can say net displacement or total displacement divided by total time t1 plus t2 okay guys now you can see is it uh, formula is true or false okay so what you observe here now initially when the object or particle moving a to b okay its direction is here left to right okay now when time t1 passes and again the motion of particle reverse okay then it becomes v2 okay and now it takes t2 time to come here b2 c okay so in this case guys now the net displacement will be v1 into t1 minus v2 into t2 divided by t1 plus t2 or you can say the net displacement okay so this one is a initial position of the object okay and now the this one c final position okay so you can say sir net displacement of the object is ac okay so this one ac divided by total time t1 plus t2 will give you v average or you can say average velocity of the object okay so guys so guys now one thing you notice here the quantity which has direction and 
मैग्नीट्यूड इज नोन एज वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एंड दोज डोंट हैव डायरेक्शन इज नोन एज ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी सो गाइज यू विल रीड वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एंड ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी वेन यू विल गो टू हायर क्लासेस ओके टेल मी डी डिस्टेंस इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी और नॉट सो डिस्टेंस इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी ओके बिकॉज डिस्टेंस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द एक्चुअल पाथ कवर्ड बाय द पार्टिकल ओके एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इफ डी देन इट हैज अ डायरेक्शन और यू कैन से सर इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन इनिशियल टू फाइनल पोजिशन और सी दिस इज अ शॉर्टेस्ट रूट ओके और इट हैज ए डायरेक्शन सो डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी ओके एंड वेलोसिटी हैज ऑल्सो डायरेक्शन सो इट इज ऑल्सो अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी velocity so what about the speed so a speed is a, a scalar quantity okay now guys to understand the concept of velocity see one numerical problem based on this one okay this question is here a uh, person lifts his home at 7:15 am and goes to park it is 2 km from his home okay and return his home at 8 am okay so what is his speed and velocity during whole journey okay so your answer must be in kilometer per hour okay so solution guys here see suppose the person whom is at point ओ ओके नाउ पार्क इज एट पॉइंट ए ओके सो ही गोज फर्स्ट ओ टू ए देन अगेन रिटर्न बैक टू ओ ओके सो दिस वन इज हिज होम और दिस वन इज पार्क ओके सो ही ट्रेवल्स टू किलोमीटर टू गो पार्क फ्रॉम होम टू पार्क ओके and again covers 2 km to return his home so total distance covered by person equal to 2 km plus 2 km okay now this is 4 km okay or total time taken by person equal to guys 8 am minus 7 15 am so you can say sir this is 45 minute okay guys now 
a speed of that person in whole journey equal to total distance divided by total time elapsed okay so you can say so this is 4 km or this one is 45 minute okay so you will stop your solution here so my answer is no why because you have to take care in which unit the answer is asking okay so answer is asking in kilometer per hour okay so you have to convert this one into kilometer per hour okay so you know 1 minute equal to guys 1 by 60 hour okay why because 1 hour equal to 60 minute okay now we put the value here 45 into 1 by 60 okay this is hour okay now you can write this one 4 into 60 now this is 45 okay so this one guys what 4 or this one 3 Fifteen four ja sixty or fifteen three ja forty three. So his speed is sixteen kilometer per hour. This is kilometer or this is hour. Okay. Now what about the velocity, guys? Okay. Here for velocity, you have to know what is his net displacement. Okay. so what will be his net displacement so you can say sir net displacement equal to zero why because initially he is at home or after time passes of 45 minutes he again at home okay so the change of position is zero or you can say initial and final position is now same so net displacement equal to 0 meter okay so what you say about velocity equal to what here net displacement okay divided by guys what time elapsed okay so this one zero divided by 45 minutes okay so you can say sir this is zero meter per second okay uh, velocity of that person is here zero meter per second or speed is 16 by 3 kilometer per hour okay now guys hope the concept of distance displacement speed average speed and velocity clear to you guys in next le lecture we will see uniform and non uniform motion and acceleration and deceleration of an object okay guys if you think this lecture is informative for you and others so please like and subscribe this foundation j channel and also share to your friends and family uh, guys one more request from you if you want to see the next lecture please on your youtube notification so whenever i will upload the new lecture you will get the information so guys thanks once again for listening and watching this lecture okay